Germ ordered a couple items from us, so let's get these things pulled and we'll get them shipped. The Dreamcast keyboard box is not something we typically are shipping, so we do not have a box for this, and I have to customize one to fit, which is a lot of work, but it's the best way that we can protect the items when they're in transit. It's all ready to go, got it all boxed up, so we're just gonna pop the label on here, and then he's gonna be getting a $3 refund because he overpaid a little bit on shipping, and this will be going out to you thanks to the germ. Well, thank you, Cooper. As you can see, Cooper, I got your package. If you guys are not familiar with Cooper, Cooper owns a store out in Vancouver, Washington called Double Jump Video Games. They have a great YouTube channel with a great cast of characters, including his girlfriend. Uh, just great people, great store. I've never been there. I'd love to go there, but they're all the way on the other side of the country. But the cool thing is you can buy from them online. So that's what I did. That's the clip that you guys saw me purchasing this. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Let's see how Cooper's wrapping skills are he had to custom make me a box and i don't oh i didn't even cut anything <laughs> uh, okay i got it i got it i got it all right no i don't think i got it <laughs> all right we'll be right back i think we got it i think we got it all right so this should be a sega dreamcast keyboard which it is ah yes look at this man he wrapped it good Oh, I want to keep a little sticker too, the price sticker. All right, let me get the scissors out again. And uh, this is really cool. I've been wanting this for a long time. I always hope I would come across it in like a Goodwill or something like that, but it just doesn't seem to be in the cards. But now that I own one, it probably will come. <laughs> I'll probably see one out in a Goodwill or something, but we got one now. So we got our invoice. We'll get rid of that. We'll put that over there. And box, boxes are already shape. It's not great shape, which I knew. I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, there it is. The Sega Dreamcast keyboard. This is awesome. I'm going to keep the sticker, man, because I think that's super cool. Wow, he barely attached it. Smart man. I like that. That's exactly what I would have done. $54.99. And uh, this is a branded Sega Dreamcast um, keyboard. Box is a little rough. Box is a little rough. That's all right. You know what I really wanted to do is was support the business. Oh wow, look at that. That is a nice shape. You can see it says Dreamcast on the corner right here. Wow. And the reason why I bought this was because he got this and then at the same time, not only did he get this Dreamcast keyboard, I'm guessing that the same person sent this in or not sent it in, traded it in because they traded in this game with it. Typing of the Dead. My god, I want I've been wanting to play this for years. Wow. This is so cool. I cannot wait to play this game. And maybe eventually, if I do a gaming video, I will do a video on this. Um, but cool. Thanks so much, Cooper. I appreciate this. You guys should check out Double Jump Video Games. Up next, we got not one, but two Game & Watch posters. Uh, I got to thank Melissa from GameStop, who saved these for me. I have been asking for these for months, and uh, she saved them for me, and I really appreciate it. I love the Game & Watch. I think this thing is great. I hope Nintendo makes a few more. I don't think it's the biggest seller, but I think the $50 price is right for the item. Um, I remember how hard it was to get this one right at the beginning, and then all of a sudden, they were all over the place. You, you weren't sure if they were going to be a scarce item or not, uh, but I asked her about these months ago, and um, it was first this one, then they put up the other one, and I'm like, why are they not getting rid of this one? You guys don't even have this in stock. And uh, she's like, oh, the Nintendo rep said we, can't re we don't have anything to replace them yet, so they just left them up. And uh, one day I went in there, totally forgot about them, and it was the one time I didn't ask. She goes, I got something for you in the back, and she pulls these out. Thanks, Melissa. I really appreciate this, and uh, eventually, when we get a bigger game room, this is going to go on my wall. So thank you. The last video you guys saw was the grand opening for Legoland New York for 2022 season. If you haven't seen that, check that video out. It's a pretty cool video. Uh, it's probably about 25, 30 minutes. I liked it. I enjoy going to Legoland. It's fun. Um, but the same day that I was there, which was a Friday, this was coming out. This is pretty cool. This is a uh, Star Wars, the Skywalker saga, and this is the collector's edition or limited edition or deluxe edition, actually. Um, and this is pretty cool because the game is in here. I am a Nintendo switch fan, but I am also a Lego fan. So I had to get this. The one thing I'm not really big on is believe it or not, my big Star Wars fan. Um, so I had to get this. I was actually late for the grand opening ceremony uh for um new york lego lane uh but you guys can check out that video this is pretty cool though it comes with a uh, luke skywalker uh minifigure uh, it's super awesome i'm not going to open this one 
I'm going to save this one. I'm going to get a standard edition to play, and I look forward to playing this game. I actually ordered one of these from GameStop. It got really messed up. He accidentally ordered me the standard copy, um, but then he fixed it, and then I got another copy. So super cool, super excited to, to play this, and I look forward to it. Next up, we got another package, another box. This one here is from a company out in Canada called Bonus Box Games. And uh, these aren't official releases uh, for the for the uh, Wii U, uh, but they're pretty cool. Um, I don't know what the heck this is. This is some kind of weird thing they got there. These were wrapped really nicely, and um, they took some... I don't know if it's a game store or whatever it is, but this is what I'm going to show you. Limited to a 1,000 copies. It is not an official release for the Wii U, but it sure looks like it. And you never know, this might have collectability later. Um, but they, they made this custom case here for it. Um, it's limited. It includes exclusive content uh, from Robert, uh, what's his name, Rob Cicado, Cicados. Um, unfortunately, I'm not opening this because I'm a collector. Uh, but it's really, really cool. It's like a special edition they made. It's got the artist who, got, who did this art here. Um, it's got a print inside with his autograph on it. And the cool thing is, this is limited to just a 1,000 copies. So we got copy number 33. I don't know if you guys can see that. Out of uh, 1,000. So it's pretty cool. I'm super excited to have this in the collection. I am a big Wii U collector. Um, it is the same Zombie U uh, for the Wii U. So there's no point opening it because I have a copy actually <laughs> right here. So that's perfect. So I don't need to open it. This is going to go right into the collection. Now, when I went on their um, website, and maybe you guys are going to go on and buy some of their games before all these are gone, uh, they had another Wii U game, and being a Wii U collector, I had to get it. Next game, Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge, and they got a special shrink wrap package on it, and there is a, a special magnet inside that looks like a throwing star. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm happy to have this. This one is not numbered. Uh, but I thought it was cool. Uh, this should play on the US uh, Wii U's, but uh, we're not going to open this. Again, I have Ninja Gaiden 3 right back here. Uh, but it's cool to have a sealed copy and something that's a little different. So we're going to keep this in the Wii U collection. Super excited to add a couple Wii U uh, games to the collection because these things are getting hard to find. Next in the game pickups, some Wii U games. I love these things. These are the best. Oh my god, these things are eventually, I know they are, they're going to go up in value. Everybody's saying that. I think they are. Um, I got the collection of games that I'm going to show you. Four games here from Goodwill. My local Goodwill does not put out good games very often. Um, I did hear somebody beat into these games, which sucks. Now, they said it was a kid. Who knows what it would what, what they were. Use your imagination. They could have been anything. Uh, but we picked up Just Dance 4. Okay, $4.99 is their standard price for these. Disney's Planes. And I'm going to leave the price tags on them, and I'll show you guys why in a second. This one, believe it or not, even though I have all these games, uh, this is the most valuable out of the whole whole of games. Um, at $28, I paid $4.99 for Barbie's Dreamhouse Party. I won't be playing that game. And uh, last but not least, Wipeout 3. So I got all those, and I want to show you guys something cool. I want to show you guys why I game hunt at Goodwill. The reason why I hunt at game Goodwill is this isn't very often you find something like this. But this is Game and uh, Wario, and I paid, can you guys see it? I left the price on there, and I also left the date on there, which is uh, September 12th, 2019. I think this is close to $200 for this game now, and uh, I got this at Goodwill for $5. It's crazy, um, back in 2019, and that's the reason why I go to Goodwill to check for games like that. You really just never know what you're going to find. A lot of times I go there, I leave empty-handed, but once in a while, I find something amazing. The cool thing about that particular game is there's another guy that um, collects as well that we used to live in the area. He walked into Goodwill about three minutes after I did, and he was right behind me, and I had the whole pile. And at the time, I didn't know that was a valuable game. Um, so, yeah, beat him by like three minutes, <laughs> if even that. So recently, we did some game hunting down in New York City. That was actually just Sunday that just passed. I love flying games. I might pick up that Wings of Fury, or I remember playing this arcade game, Tubin. I think we're going to pick that up. That's brand new sealed. I loved playing that in arcade back in the day. Had a blast. My daughter followed me around. God bless her, man. 
Um, I know it wasn't her favorite thing to do, but I bought her some uh, My Hero Academia pins, and uh, she loved that. Uh, but we went to a couple different game stores. The first one was Video Games New York. Okay, this is over by Chinatown in New York. So if you're ever in Chinatown, check this place up out. Uh, there is another uh, store called 8-Bit Games that's near there a couple blocks away. Unfortunately, they're closed on Sundays. But we picked up a couple games from there. This is not one of them. So I'll put that one over there. I picked up Iron Wings. I have not played this one yet. I have not seen it. Uh, but from looking at the back of it and also um, watching some video, um, it was a PAL release. Iron Wings looks like, just like to me, it looks like Ace Combat. And I love Ace Combat. I love driving and flying games. And I thought this would be uh, super fun to play. So I'm looking forward to playing this. It was a $40 game, as you guys can see. Um, next up in the games, I'm going to save the best games for last. Tetris Effects. I've never played this. I've heard nothing but good things about this. I love Tetris. Um, it's a fun, timeless game. I've been playing it since Game Boy. And uh, this version is, as, as you guys can see in the corner, is for the PlayStation VR I personally have a feeling that VR games for the PlayStation, especially the PS4, the future, are going to be worth money. Now, that's just my opinion. I don't know if that's factual or not, if that will actually happen. Uh, but it's really the first time that anyone's tried VR on, on this kind of system that's been more realistic. Listen, I got that other thing that, that uh, what do they call it, the big red thing. Uh, the, what is the Nintendo thing? Now I can't remember. Virtual Boy. I have a Virtual Boy this thing blows it away. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing Tetris Effects. I heard it was a really good game. All right, so the next one is... Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to skip this one. All right, we're going to go to this one. Okay, got Shakedown Hawaii. I didn't even know they made this for the Switch. Apparently, they made this for the Vita as well. Uh, but Shakedown Hawaii uh, for the Switch. I actually have it over there sealed. This was made by a company called V-Blank. Um, you had to order this from V-Blank uh, for the Wii U. I don't know about for the Switch. I never saw this in stores, so I'm guessing you had to order it for them too, for, for the system too. Uh, but I picked this up uh, for the Switch because I never got to play it because I don't want to open up my sealed copy because Shakedown Hawaii is actually the last official re release for the Wii U. So I didn't want to open that one. So when I saw this, I was like, I got to have that. All right, last but not least, on the first store. Okay. Now, if you guys want this, I think Double Jump Video Games had some copies of this. And I got this from um, from Video Games New York. Perky Little Things. Um, this is a European copy. Uh, Funbox Media makes the game. And I don't even know how to describe this game. It is... Uh, I can't even say borderline pornographic. Uh, from watching other people's gameplay, it is pornographic. Um, but it's just one of those games that are so ridiculous that you have to buy it. Um, if you ever buy this game, just to FYI, and everybody's been saying this, um, it looks like the box is a little warped. I don't know if you guys could tell that from the video. And the reason why is the Switch game has a standard case in here, and there's a comic book in here. And in on the comic book, it's slightly, looks like the comic book or the Switch game, one of them is slightly bigger than the other. So when they go to shrink wrap it, it kind of sucks the packaging in the, um, what do you call it, the book cover or the, the cover here, it kind of sucks it in and messes up the box a little bit. So that kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, I don't really know how to describe this game to you guys. Um, it is pornographic. Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to play it. It's funny because Jenna, Jenna mentioned, she said, you know, we got to, we got to, after seeing uh, some clips of it, we're both interested in playing it because it looks like it's funny as hell. It's very cartoony. Um, so we might have to go back and pick up another copy just to open it and play it. So Maybe I'll let you guys know in a future video, but you would not see any videos of me playing this game or showing it because I think that's against every user agreement on YouTube. After we left Video Games New York, we headed over to 6th Avenue in New York City. About a 20-minute drive. Uh, went to another store. I think I want to say it's called H&L or H, H. It's got to be H&L uh, game. And uh, interesting store. Um, basically, when you walk in, if you guys haven't checked out my uh, video from this, it's just glass cases on both sides, open floor, and then glass case in the back. Um, lots of games. Very cool store. Not my favorite setup. If you're going to only go to one store, Video Games New York definitely had a nicer setup. Um, everything in Video Games New York is also behind glass. But just the setup is better. Um, and it's more a little bit more accessible. I don't know exactly how to say that. Um, but 
one of the things I forgot to ask in actually, you know what I did ask in Video Games New York. I asked them if they had one of these, a dog bone controller. Um, they did not. Uh, this is a used dog bone controller to go with my NES Model 2. And uh, I've been looking for one of these for a long time. This one was 50 bucks. They would not negotiate or discount. I'm sure on 6th Avenue in Manhattan, the rent is very, very high. Um, so you can definitely expect to pay some higher prices. Um, but I like supporting local video game stores, even, even if it's in Manhattan. So um, this is the only thing I picked up there. Uh, right before that or right after that, I don't remember which order it was, we actually went to a GameStop that was about two blocks down from there. Um, looked around. They also had a, a Geek, uh, what is it, Geek Squad or Geek something? Think Geek. Um, in the basement of the store, um, I got my daughter, My Hero Academia, pin in there, fake pin. Um, she's a big fan of that show. I don't, I don't watch anime. Um, but yeah, we didn't get anything in there. I didn't get any games. I was looking for some games. Didn't, didn't find anything I was looking for. So, um, but you know, you got to check these out because you really just, you never know when you're not local, um, what kind of games you're going to find. So this is going to roll us into our, our last two stops in New York City for video game hunting. Uh, book Offs, which I found totally by accident on my last visit to New York City. And, you know, with a name like Book Off, I'm thinking it's a bookstore. I don't remember how I found that store um, or how I found out they sold video games. But I walked in there. Uh, they sell books. They sell um, figurines like, uh, you know, anime stuff, um, all kinds of stuff like that. They sell DVDs, Blu-rays, which I'm a physical media guy. Um, I'm assuming if you guys are watching this video, you might be too. Um, and they just had a ton of stuff and they had video games, which is what I was really looking for. Um, so when I went in there, there, it was crazy. The prices were insane. Um, there was a copy of Mario Brothers 3, a box copy out on the shelf, basically getting crushed. Um, and they were, at, they put stickers right on the box, on the cardboard box, no protector sleeve or anything. They do not care about video games. Um, and it was $99, which is like outrageous. Um, later on in the store, I found a loose copy of Mario Brothers 3, and get this, it was a hundred, I want to say it was $129, $129 for a loose copy of Mario Brothers 3. I don't have my NES collection in this room, it's actually on the other shelf, it used to be up there, uh, but I ran out of room a long time ago, and when I saw that loose copy for $130, I was like, these guys are out of their minds. Um, I ran some other prices I saw in there, I, there was like a, a virtual bar. It was like a hundred bucks if I remember correctly. And some of the prices were just crazy. They were like out of this world. Um, I did end up managing picking up a couple games. Whether I got a good deal on them or not, I don't know. Um, I don't really think so, but it's Manhattan. What are you going to do? Uh, first game up, I already have a copy of this, but I was like, you know what? I want another copy. Uh, Night Trap. Okay. Night Trap is with uh, Dana Plato from... Uh, it's a live action movie game, kind of, I guess, um, where you have to watch a bunch of cameras. It's kind of like Five Nights at Freddy, uh, if you ever played that. And this was originally on the Sega CD. Nintendo said this would never be on a Nintendo console. And here we are with it on a Nintendo Switch. Um, I had to have this. I like it. Anytime I see this, man, I was looking for this thing so bad. And I found out Limited Run came out with it before I knew what Limited Run was. Um, so it was already existing. It was already on eBay before I knew what limited run was. Um, I just looked at this and I had to, I had to get it. Um, it was pretty cool. It came with a little, uh, card. This is the big thing with limited run. They come with cards. And, um, what was interesting about this one was, I don't know what these are, but it came with, and maybe someone could leave a little comment below. It came with uh, limited run loyalty rewards. So I, I don't know what that is. I'm covering up the code because maybe it's not used and I can use it for something. Uh, but it came with limited run uh, rewards. Now, I've ordered from limited run now, and I've never received anything like that. So I don't know if that's something, a program they're still doing or not. But I've never seen it. So if you guys know what that program is, let me know in the comments below because I would love to know um, what that is. And let me know what you think of limited run. I think uh, some of the games that they're making... Um, they're supposed to be physical uh, games forever, so check out their website, limitedrun.com. Um, you do pre-order, it takes a couple months to get things, and once they close it out, that's it. Best Buy might get a few copies of certain games, um, but no one else sells them unless you get them out used in the wild. This store, Book Offs, unusual, had four or five different um, limited run titles and also some from Super Rare. Okay, next up, I saw this and 
I was like, you know what? I got to have this, okay? It is Ferrari Grand Prix Challenge. I was playing this last night on the Game Boy. Um, I enjoy racing games. I actually enjoyed it. I had fun playing it. Qualifying probably took me about three or four tries qualifying for the race. But when I picked this up, like I told you guys, man, there were stickers all over this thing. There was a sticker over here, and I can still feel the residue. Uh, there's another sticker here with the price. The sticker up here told them exactly where this was in the case. I want to say I paid 30 bucks for this game. Um, it's worth slightly more than that complete. Box is in decent condition. Uh, the owner's manual and booklets in there, as well as the uh, little protector. Um, you know, I don't know, the box, the sleeve. Not the sleeve, what do you call it? The little plastic thing that slides in. Um, the game holder, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but I, I thought it was cool. Um, I couldn't believe they put those price tags on these boxes. They, Like I said, they just don't care about games. Um, I went upstairs, I used my girlfriend's hair dryer. Uh, to warm up the adhesive and very carefully got it off. I don't think it was on there too terribly long uh, because I did get it off rather easily. It took me about five minutes. I would normally also use Goo Gone on something like I did on the Night Trap game uh, to get the uh, residue off. But on a game like this, I really don't want to take the chances of using Goo Gone and uh, possibly damaging the packaging. I can't see it. You can't see it from there. I can feel it, but you can't see it. So... Um, was excited to get this. It was weird to see boxed games on the on the shelf there. Um, when I went to Video Games New York, it's funny. I left and I, I was shaking my head because now we're down in, in um, on 6th Avenue, 20, 25 minutes away. And I remembered I wanted that Tubin game. And I wish I got that. I'm kicking myself in the butt over that one. Um, it was crazy. It was new in box. I, I'm going to, if no one else that watches this video picks that up, I'm going to go try to pick that up myself and uh, maybe go grab that game. Um, other thing I got there, this is crazy, Shakedown Hawaii um, for the Wii U. I was not expecting this. This is not a new copy. This is a used copy. And I forgot about this when I showed you guys the other one. I have never gotten to play this game. But the cool thing is, this is the like more deluxe alternate cover of it um, for the Wii U. So I have both alter both covers now. I've never gotten to play this game. This one's open, so I am going to play this game. Unfortunately, it's not complete. The manual's missing. How could you have not left the manual in there? The manual's in that damn Game Boy game from 1989 or 91, whenever that thing's from. And this game that only came out maybe a year or two ago, you didn't leave the manual in? What are you doing? Come on, man. Oh, it's basically like a, a Grand Theft Auto from what I understand. Um, but last Wii U game. And I still have some residue on there that I thought I got off. So we're going to have to clean that up a little bit more. All right. Last game from Book Offs. Or Book Off. I think it's Book Off. This. So my daughter was actually holding this. And you guys saw it in the video. If you guys watched that video. Okay. Skylanders Giant. Now you're probably looking at this going, what the hell did you buy that for? Okay. The reason why I bought this is because if you guys look behind me. Okay. I got to double check. Because I double checked once before and I was missing three games. I thought I had them all. This should be my last Wii U game that I need. I don't remember if it's 163 games or 168. I don't count variants. I don't count special editions. So things like this Captain Toad Treasure Tracker um, box with uh, with the Amiibo in there. I'm not counting that. So um, I also don't collect. Uh, don't count Nintendo Selects. So you know it's original copies. That's it. I got Axiom Verge. I got uh I got Wario. Um I got Switch uh Switch what do they call it? Switch Club Sports, something like that. Um I got all the hard ones, man. I got Devil's Third, that's not back here. Um and I'm gonna eventually make a video showing all these games. I have not had a chance to play most of these games, and there are some games like these just dance ones that I will never play. Um but we have them. We have a I think a complete set, and I'm super excited to add this one to the library and we're gonna put it over there. So awesome. The last store I went to was the Nintendo store that you guys saw in the video. Now, the Nintendo store would be very exciting for most of you guys. I have been there probably two or three times, maybe four. Um, for me, being a New Yorker, living about 90 miles away from New York City, um, it's cool to go in there, but it's nothing special for me. They have the same Switch games that any of the stores do, all the first party stuff. It's a lot of um, merchandise, coffee mugs, apparel, things like that. They have a tiny little museum uh, with all the all the Nintendo consoles that used to be out, and also a uh, really cool 
uh, Game Boy that was uh, destroyed during the Gulf War that still works. So, like I said, if you guys didn't check out that video, check that out. It's a really, uh, a really fun video. Um, I didn't buy anything from there because there was really nothing for me to, to buy. There was nothing unique. Last but not least, actually not last but not least because we got a bonus item I almost forgot about. Um, I picked up off Facebook Marketplace where I usually do most of my shopping. Um, some really cool games and, uh, well, not really. Um, but one 3DS game, uh, Wipeout. We've got uh, four games for the DS, which is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Yoshi's Island DS. I'm hoping that I can complete these at some point. Scribblenauts and Mario Party DS. So I picked those up, um, got those four games, and she had three car chargers, which is really weird uh, for the Nintendo uh, DS or 3DS. I guess it really doesn't matter. I think they're the same adapter. But three car chargers, one of them looked brand new. Um, but no, interestingly enough, no DS or 3DS console. Um, funny thing is when I pulled up to the lady's house, I go, I think I've been here before. And when I got out of the car, she goes, I think you've been here before. I actually bought a bunch of Wii U games from her, uh, last year. So it was kind of funny. And I told her at that time, I said, do you have anything else? And she said, no, I don't have anything else. So I asked her again, uh, do you have anything else? She said, no, this is it. We don't have anything else. My boys are all grown up and they moved out of the house. So that was it okay this is the last item uh recently my girlfriend and i went to go see a movie um when we went to go see that movie we saw the poster for sonic 2 was up i was like wow that's cool that would look awesome eventually in my game room uh if we could get one of those and frame it so this is the first time i'm actually seeing the one that i got um but my local movie theater this is actually the movie poster and i have not seen this yet so um this is the movie poster for <laughs> sonic the movie sonic 2 um so this is cool this is the actual theater poster i'm not going to totally unroll it uh because i don't want to ruin it because we're going to store this thing until we get a new house which who knows when the heck that is going to be we've got to be patient um but it says in theaters april 8th all the way at the bottom there and i am a big sonic fan um sonic it, sonic and crash bandicoot are probably my my favorite two characters um and mascots for video gaming um the first really awesome game that i played was uh was sonic the hedgehog that game just really impressed me when i was a kid and uh yeah i'm excited to have this it's cool to get it um when it was in the when it was in the theater and knowing it came from my local theater um makes it even cooler um really really neat and the other thing that is uh cool is if you guys haven't checked it out i made a uh sonic happy meal video um which is crazy because my videos don't usually get insane numbers of views but the sonic video that i did on the happy meal uh was up to 1600 views which is cool and i did it late um don't blow this movie for it, me i have not seen it i heard good things so far um but i haven't seen it. i seen the first one i love it i have it on uh blu-ray uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. If uh, you've seen Sonic 2 in theaters, let me know in the comments below. Um, what do you guys think of the pickups? Did I do all right? Do you guys like the stuff that I got um, in New York City? I completed the Wii U collection, I think. Um, also, we got that Dreamcast keyboard from Double Jump Games. I'm super excited to have that and try out Typing of the Dead. Uh, maybe I'll let you guys know in a future video how it was. Maybe maybe we'll make a video. Maybe we'll make a gaming video. I don't know. Leave it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like me to like to see me playing some of my favorite games because i think we all have our favorites i have my favorites for all the consoles you know nes jaguar turbo graphics genesis you know so let me let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to watch me playing some of my favorite games i don't know if people would be interested in that well until next time guys i am the germ like share subscribe leave a comment below please it really helps um you guys hit that thumbs up button and you leave a comment i i appreciate it i respond to every comment until next time guys i am the germ we'll see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching